Hey y'all, welcome back to Inside the Hem. Catherine Hepburn said, if you obey all the rules, then you miss all the fun. And in sewing, there's no shortage of rules. But as creative people, our minds don't always want to listen. So we came up with a fun game to test how obedient we are to the sewing must do's. This is always, sometimes, never. I'm going to give Abby and Amber a well-known sewing rule and they're going to say if they always do it, only do it sometimes or never do it. Ready? So I have some cards here for you guys. Some for you, some for you, and some for me. And they just say always, sometimes, never. So I wrote down some sewing must do's. And y'all are gonna answer honestly. <laughs> always. I feel like I already know the answers <laughs> for most of you guys though. But anyways, okay. So the first one is pre-wash your fabrics. <laughs> sometimes, if I know the brand, sometimes I know I don't have to pre-wash it. <laughs> oh, so depending on the type? Depending well, then I the guess type. technically I'm sometimes too. Mm -hmm. Like I know I've sewn with certain cottons that just don't shrink, so sometimes I'm lazy. Oh, that's nice. But if I don't know, or it's a knit, then it's yeah. always. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I learned my lesson the hard way, and so I'm an always. Because I had a shirt shrink up and I can't wear it anymore. Well, yeah. So. And you're so tough to begin That's so funny. <laughs> okay. The next one is um, trace your pattern pieces. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, I always do mine because, I don't know, I guess I started getting the PDF patterns and they are so bulky and I don't have a lot of space here. So I would trace them just to kind of save. And you can put them in like little binder easier that way and everything. So yeah, I'm an always. All right, <clears throat> transfer pattern markings. Abby, <laughs> Amber, <laughs> you? I thought of all of us, you would be an always. <laughs> it depends on what I'm sewing. Sometimes if it's just a long straight seam and they have notches, I kind of get lazy. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's but so surprising. There are patterns like the jacket I'm working on right now. I had to go back and make sure that I had all the notches perfect because when you get to the collar, it is really Yeah, yes. Yeah, those collars, you're right, that's a good point. And then sometimes I'll transfer the markings and then I don't transfer them to my item that I'm going to sew. So or I <laughs> put the markings down and then I interfaced over top of it and then yes, I, put the I hate markings that. back down. I hate that. I do that all the time too. It's double the work. Um, what about pressing your seams? Yes, yes of course. Yeah. And I think that's mostly just because like it makes a better looking garment. For like sure. it makes it look so much more professional. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I'm even like, I don't know, and then I press it and I'm like, oh, no, this is nice. <laughs> I'm feeling this. Okay, how about use a pressing cloth? Yeah, depends on the fabric. 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 Yeah. But I feel like if, if we're online with what Amber says, then we're doing, we're doing something the right thing. Right. She, yeah, you don't want to melt something no. because that's not good. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So it's true. Yeah, err on the side of caution, I guess. Um, what about oh, this? Is a really good one that clip your thread tails. I have all the intention of uh, clipping every single one. I know, I want to say always, but I think at the end I go up and clean like everything yeah. up. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I tried to do I even hung the little thread snips on the side of my machine so they're like right there and easy and even still I just kind Mine stay directly in front of the machine even when I'm sewing and it still doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What about just even pinning? Do you always pin every now that I've been sewing for a long time, I am not pinning much at all. Um, oh, so you're rarely I'm even rarely, rarely pinning now. Wow. But still sometimes. Yeah, no. I kind of feel like I'm a sometimes but lean toward always. Like I'm a almost always. I think it depends on what I'm sewing. Definitely. Yeah. If it's a silk, it yeah. for sure. <laughs> Lots yeah. of silk pins. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What about, oh, this is, I know the answer to this one. Sew so over your pins. Try not to. It happens. What? I want to say I've done it maybe once or twice, but I'm really careful. Like I always take them out 
Or like I use those clips so often. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. just have to come so, out. I just, I really don't want to hurt my machine. Well, I still sometimes do it, and that's even after I broke a pin and it flew in my face. <laughs> from sewing over it, but sometimes when you're just sewing with a silk, I just leave them in. And yeah, I leave, I leave them in always. always. But then again, I have the same machine I started on. It was like $100, so maybe that's why. It's because I don't feel like there's a, I, I'm going to like mess myself up and jinx myself. <laughs> But I don't feel like there's like a lot of value attached to my machine anymore. So there's value to your face. Though. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. well, which brings me to my next one, which is surging with pins. Because if y'all remember, Not I had enough. an incident where the yes. knife enough. broke and flew yes. at me. Never. So now that's a never. Yeah, yeah. I learned from your mistake. Yes. 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 So that's <laughs> why I always use those. Clips. Clips. Yeah. So, yeah that's where because in full disclosure, though, that pin was left in there in accident, and it was in the crotch seam, and so I didn't even know it was yeah. there. So I wasn't totally being bad. But you know how some <laughs> people will wind them up um, parallel to this um, raw edge mm -hmm. and over like an inch. Mm -hmm. I kind of sort of maybe was starting to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Um, what about rip out every single mistake and do it again? Sometimes. 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 A mistake. That surprises me about you. No, I've gotten relaxed on something. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But I bet if it's top stitching, you're ripping that out. If yeah, if it's contrasting, if yeah. it's it depends on how noticeable the mistake is. Mm -hmm. If it's gonna bug me in the future. Oh yeah. Do you have older projects that you notice something? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more critical um, while I'm working on it, and then you forget you all forget of those it. little things. That yeah, and nobody else ever, ever noticed. And nobody else no. knows. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what about when the pattern calls for it? Doing the hand stitching. Sometimes. That's not. I'm in between. Sometimes and always. I'm a never. No, I always find another way. I hate hand really? stitching. I have. Guess I. I don't know. The only place I really hand so much with is a hem, which I, I will do because it looks so good. Stitching as much anymore. I think I tried to practice a little bit more so that um, it's you know more even stitches because mm -hmm. I think before I was fighting it just because I thought my stitching looked bad. But yeah. Yeah. I, so that's, what, that's definitely what I'm doing. I even went and bought the blind stitch foot mm -hmm. and all, and that so makes it look worse. Look good. No, that doesn't look good either. Can't so. stitch those hems. I just have all top stitched hems, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, okay, last one. Follow the pattern directions exactly. Me. From beginning to end. From beginning to end. Oh, that would be never then. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, sometimes. There's always some never. sort of deviation. Yeah, maybe minor because yeah. you feel like you know you like little like tricks. You know. <laughs> yeah, know better. Yeah, yeah. Some of them I will um, follow to a T, especially if it's something I've never sewn before, like right. that jacket back there. I've never yeah. sewn a jacket like that, so I followed that to a T. I'm glad I did because she had some things in there that I wouldn't have thought to do, so that was helpful. But um, yeah, if it's, especially if it's a pattern I've already made too, that I'm just like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, sometimes if I'm sewing a new knit top and it's just a basic knit, knit top, I don't read the directions at all except no, to find out yeah. like seam allowance and I just, yeah, do yeah. my own way. Well, that's it for our always, sometimes, never game. Leave in the comments um, your always, sometimes, or never. If any of these um, were really glaring for you, um, leave them in the comments. We would love to hear what you guys have to say. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an upload. And we are also on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and we're on Instagram and Pinterest. So if you want to just completely <laughs> download all of us, go follow us everywhere. Otherwise, we'll be back next week with another video. Bye! Bye.